as far as the writing experience was. Uh, it made me kind of confront something. It came as a form of therapy for me. I had fairly purposely avoided thinking about a lot for years. It was a struggle to write. Um, I wanted to get everything out there because I used to notice I had a problem with like uh, repressing emotions. So I wrote about uh, when I was younger, um, one of my friends, childhood friends, died of cancer. So I wrote my memoir about what it was like to cope with that and cope with... I went to a very small school, so everyone knew him. So kind of go to a school where everyone was really devastated about his death. So it's really satisfying to work with the memoir, clean it up, help bring the story and bring the author's voice to life. I'm making them look good and that I'm making sure that everybody's going to understand what they want the world to understand about them. And reading stories is just great, even if they are sometimes sad or shocking. Just knowing that they trust you with their most prized possession like that is just so good in the way. And I think it's just one of those once in a lifetime experiences. Because, you know, I don't know any other place that you know they have a publishing club where they publish memoirs. So I think it's a wonderful club, and I think more people should be in it because it's so amazing. It's really been a lot of help for me in like just schooling in general mm -hmm. and life because people keep wanting me to write things. I don't know why. It's crazy. <laughs> Getting to brag about it, probably. Yes. Yes. Um, it's really useful in college applications. Not many people can be like, "Oh, I published the book when I was 14." I have a fan club. What? Yeah. They came to the, the reading. Do you remember that? Like the whole like first two rows were... How do you do that? I want one. My mom's book club. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's empowering for not just the editors who get to work with the amazing stories, but also for the authors, because they see that what they write doesn't just stay in the classroom and then get put into a portfolio and never seen again. It allows for the student to have a voice outside of the classroom. While I was writing mine, I um, took more time to actually be thoughtful about what I was putting in the memoir because I knew that it wasn't just going to be put to the side and maybe looked at later, but it was going to be it was going to be an actual work that was put in a book and looked at by other people in the future. You, you start to broaden your mind. Once people start to read it, then they go and they talk about it. So it just basically spreads the teenage and student perspective on life. You start learning all these different kinds of perspectives that you didn't know about before. Um, you're, like I said before, you're more aware of people around you. It's more self-awareness and awareness of people around you that it's just not you. I think it helps the students, like, reach out more and not feel like, ugh, oh, um. Now when you see a person in the hallway, whether, whether you know them or not, you know now don't just judge people based on, you know, how they talk, look, act, because there's something more to them that you didn't know about before. And so I just think that it's really important that we don't judge each other because, you know, it is in our nature to do that, unfortunately. Um, but we, we need to be more aware of ourselves and who we, how we interact with each other because there's just so much more that we don't know.